Hey everybody, so this is a real fast review of the Fan Armored Plastic uh, Mask Overlay that they just started selling recently. Um, I got mine about, I think it was about two months ago, and I've been using it exclusively, so you know, four or five days a week um, uh, for the past month and a half, two months since I've gotten it. And I just wanted to show it to you guys, it's it's awesome. Basically, I, I was one of the first testers of the Wakusi uh, Cobra Mask, and I love that design. I kind of swore that I would only use that as far as masks go. That said, I like this. It's hard to say if I like it better or not. And I think ultimately the deciding factor is I like it better because I can take it off of this mask. So it actually just like slides on over top and pretty much turns any uh, mask into a, a Cobra design basically. It's a little bit different, like uh, it comes a little bit farther uh, forward. The plastic is different. Uh, it attaches at the back rather than having an elastic. It has this like Velcro. And at first I was kind of annoyed with that, but actually I'm not at all because uh, anymore once I kind of figured it out is as soon as you uh, clip that in, uh, you can still get it on and off because there's still a little bit of give in it. So I was thinking like I'd have to unclip and clip it on the, every time I use it. Not true at all. So it just fits over ma any mask. This one's a large slash extra large. They have two sizes, a large, extra large, and a small uh, medium. So I, I usually typically wear, uh, this is our Sword Shop XL mask. Um, I usually typically wear this. Uh, what's neat about it is it Velcros in around the uh, back strap here or not back strap, the uh, little headpiece here that, that holds it in. Um, other features, hard plastic. Uh, the inside is actually like padded, which is kind of nice. So there's an extra layer of kind of like a foamy type material. Uh, I don't think it's like closed cell foam. It's not like camping mat style foam. It seems a little bit uh, more solid than that. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. So it's super fast to take on and off. The main thing is, is that for traveling, a lot of the time I'm doing multiple tournaments. So for a small sword tournament, I would not want to bring my Wakusi mask. And masks, as you guys know, are probably the most annoying thing to pack in your bag because they take up a huge amount of space. Even if you fill them with stuff, it's just the shape is really huge, especially with like a, a Wakusi. It's like massive, right? So this is way, way better for me because I only have to pack one mask for small sword broadsword tournaments or uh, rapier. I, I sometimes don't even wear the back of head with rapier. Sometimes I do. Uh, it depends on how I'm training. But always with like broadsword, longsword, uh, side sword, saber, I always wear back of head protection. This one's awesome. I'd say the only downside to it is uh, if you take a look at the material, I'd say it's a little, like a tiny bit louder than um, the Wakusi. Just because uh, it's a more rigid type plastic and the Wakusi is a little bit softer. So the plus side of that is that it doesn't nick up the same way like there's little nicks like around where the the cuts are where there's a little bit of an edge so maybe that could be rounded off a tad but if you look at the actual material it's like really really good shape the stitching has held up i was kind of curious about that whether it would hold up or not but the stitching has held up perfectly for the past and like i say like when i say that i'm training with it for two months that's like five five days a week um so for somebody like that, that would be like five times the amount of fear once a week or right. So I'm getting a lot of use out of it. Um, I'll just show you how easy it is to put on here. If I can find a way to uh, put it on while showing you guys that uh, might fall over one sec. Let's see here. <clears throat> there we go. Piece of wood. So real easy to put on. Um, I'm not going to Velcro it in. At this time, I'm just going to show you how fast it slides on. And then you just pull the uh, chin strap over top and you're good to go. So it's that simple. It's that fast to put on. Really, like, easier than most other overlays. And there you have, like, an actual, like, longsword grade helmet just from a standard mask. So the good thing about this is I have tons of students that bought like the Absolute Force mask or have bought my mask uh, from swordshop.ca and uh, now they can they can repurpose that. They don't have to buy a second mask and, and spend $250 on the new uh, Wakusi Cobra when they can just spend a small amount of money on the, the overlay and kind of upgrade as they want. And that's, that's kind of what you want uh, for people is you want something that they can augment rather than buying a full kit all at once slowly piece it together over the years you use bits of loaner equipment like it makes it a lot more economical and reasonable for them to start up with so honestly this this product is definitely like 
uh, a nine out of 10 for me. Like I said, the only thing would be it's a t tiny bit louder and I don't even have a problem with that. Like it's pretty much a 10 out of 10 for me. I, I use it more than I use my Cobra. I actually haven't used my Cobra again since then because this is like perfectly adequate and I only have to lug like one mask around with me now. So it, it's a, maybe I, I should even give it a 10 out of 10, but I'm being hard on it. Just, I don't know. I don't want to be overly enthusiastic about a product, but I am, I am kind of overly enthusiastic about it. So good job, Superior Fencing. This is like exactly what we needed. And it looks really cool. It's a slightly different shape than the Wakusi. Like a, from the front, it has kind of like a, a slimmer face rather than a rounder one. Uh, so it looks a little bit slimmer overall than the Wakusi. Thanks a lot, guys.